Hello, my name is Jawad Khan of Astro Design. I'm the sales manager. What you have over here is our VG879 signal generator, followed by our VA1847 protocol analyzer. Now, I would like to mention that all of our products are made in-house in Japan, from the software to the hardware. On top of that, we are also certified as far as HDMI compliance testing is concerned, and that's also continuously being updated. The primary function of this is to generate signals. Not only can it generate signals using the HDMI interface, but it can also generate signals using a variety of other interfaces. The, um, you can test up to 8K outputting, um, 60 FPS, or even more, depending on what, you, what sort of signal you would like to send. This over here will pick up the signal. So let's say, for example, I would like to send a signal of um, eight K at sixty P. I enter that, and as you can see, our analyzer is going to pick up that signal. Right. So Astro Design is like. Um world-leading company doing this kind of stuff, right? That's right, yeah. It's a world-leading company that specializes in test and measurement equipment. Not only that, but um, we also specialize in 8K devices. So, um, is this Linux? No, this is not Linux based. So this is a, an Astro Design based OS. So it's a specific so OS specific made by OS Astro? Made by Astro for test equipment. And, so, um, it's got all the functions that every company doing TV, cables, consoles, they all need this stuff. That's they all correct. need this they stuff. They all need something like yeah. this test platform to get everything tested. To get the, yeah, the, the mic. No problem. It's just if, if you want to jump in, you can grab his mic at some point. Uh, oh. So, so um, and, and this device right here is also crucial to receive the signal. Yeah, so this, this right here is a protocol analyzer, so it's, it's just essentially acts as a sync device and you can emulate any kind of television you wanted to essentially as well. So if you connect this analyzer to a television, you can grab the television's EDID and this analyzer will now become an emulated uh, television system. So this is used for debugging and certification process for HDMI. All right. Um Maybe maybe you can just clip it on right there. Yep. Uh, so, um, what kind of hardware is happening inside here to make this work? Uh, hardware is the very <laughs> one of the very first HDMI 2.1. A little bit higher, so that the mic. Chipsets. Just dropped here. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So. Yeah. What do you say? We utilize uh, the newest uh, HDMI 2.1 chipsets available in the market. Sorry, is uh, the signal? Yeah, just so it's not behind. Okay, oh, sorry, sorry. No problem. It's a cheap transmitter. No worries. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what do you say? Um, so we we do utilize uh, ASICs uh, chipsets uh, that are HDMI 2.1 uh, ready and compatible. Because we're so cutting edge, we reach out to the companies that are first developing these chipsets and implement them into our devices. And are they in Japan, these companies? Or it's like, or do you go to Taiwan with TSMC um, so or something like this? For HDMI 2.1, we are partnering with a Japanese company for these chipsets. And so you are the first in line to get the new chip that does something crazy advanced? Yes. So that means the chips are not so cheap, right? No, they're definitely not. This uh, test equipment in its nature is not a cheap item to begin with. Um, so with the capabilities that we can do with this, essentially we can create and test any type of HDMI 2.1 device that's created. And uh, how many of these do you sell, like in the US? Is that secret? But is it like, 50, 100, oh, there's like so many companies that need this. Imagine imagine all the television manufacturers that are on the show floor today. Imagine every one of them picking up about five to six of these signal generators. Imagine a lot of these uh, cable makers and anyone that has an HDMI logo device on their, on their device, such as like AVM receivers. Imagine them picking up like one 
to five protocol analyzers per team. And like design houses. Yeah, they're the R&D research development. This is a product development type of uh, products. Because then the design houses may be working with dozens of companies doing dozens of different products, but maybe they just need one of these. Right, so we do work with a lot of the chip manufacturers that are on the show floor today. Um, a lot of them do tests with Astro Design in order to verify their chipsets. So is this the first device that's able to do full HDMI 2.1, this kind of stuff? Essentially, yes, it would be, because uh, without these devices, you cannot make your HDMI 2.1 devices and set-top boxes without verification. So you would definitely need items like this. So in terms of a world's first, it's another Astro Design world's first uh, to provide a, a device that can output all of these signals and patterns as well as receive them. There's no competition? Like people just give up trying to compete? Uh, I, I wouldn't say that. Uh, there's always competition. There's always someone that's, that's striving to do what we're doing. Um, but in terms of time frame, in terms of launching first, uh, Astro Design is typically one of the first companies to launch. For how long has it been happening? Uh, we've been doing this since 1977. Oh, that's like more than 40 years. Yeah, it's, it's uh, quite a long time. So we were the first company to launch the very first digital programmable signal generator. And we've kind of grown our, our company from there. 77. 77. What was happening in 77? 77 was... AVIQ. Yeah, that was uh, an, that's still the analog analog video days. That's way before my time. So, um, so analog kind of test things? Analog video signals during that time. Um, there was no programmable generator at that time, and uh, our company founder, Shigeki Suzuki, went ahead and developed this uh, uh, programmable signal generator. Is the founder still around? That's, the founder is still in control of the company, that's correct. Doing all the decisions? He does make all the decisions still, yes. He's still, he's still, he's still at the top, sitting, sitting in Japan. Uh, does that mean you're a huge company or you're not actually that big? We're actually a, an engineering house company, so we're about 177 to 200 employees um, in Japan. Um, and we have a distribution network um, around the globe. And in the United States, we're a team of, proud team of three right now. How about, um, you say it's an Astro OS? Mm -hmm. So it's not Linux based? Not it's, Linux based, not Windows embedded? based, uh, developed particularly for signal generation or particularly for the protocol analysis. So we don't run on a PC-based system. A customer, because it's expensive, a customer can have like some requests and you kind of add it? Well, we can definitely add features if need be. Um, it's happened in the past. Uh, we are uh, one of those rare companies that can uh, customize uh, products depending upon customer needs. So we're always open to collaboration. So this is 2.1, so it's cutting edge, but I am sure there's something even more cutting edge than this. Um, if, if, you know, depending upon standards bodies and how everyone's moving in the marketplace, we kind of follow along with what's happening. And if it's something that excites us, then we'll go ahead and attack it. Do you do a lot of work with HDR and all these kind of oh, things? Oh yes, HDR. HDR certification is one of our big things that this VG879 can do as well. Uh, we're definitely... Uh, within a uh, certification program such as the AK Association, uh, UHDA, uh, what else are we? Uh, HDR10+, uh, we can also verify Dolby Vision, for instance, uh, with some Dolby Vision patterns that are uh, you know, licensed by Dolby. Um, so we can test all of those HDR items as well. And how about um, uh, micro LEDs, projectors, they all just use the same stuff, or you do different things for different types of those are uh, display um, technologies. Um, the signal itself doesn't really change. So how the signal is sent and processed doesn't change, but how it's displayed would be the micro LED or the projection. Um, and we can do all of those things as well. Astro uh, Design. Maybe it's got to do with uh, all this going on the moon and stuff. Uh, that was happening in 1977. So Astro Design, uh, as a name, is uh, kind of a mix of a Japanese word of asa, ashita, which is tomorrow, and toro, which is to, to grab. So Astro is, let's grab tomorrow, today. So grab tomorrow, today, to design. It's kind of uh, where Astro Design comes from. 
So I guess every day in the office, um, or if when you are in Japan at the office, it's probably like the coolest place in the world to be seeing We... what other people are going to be having eight years later. Yes, it's a, it's a good some preview way. of future technologies to come. Um, and we're not afraid to go out and, and attack it first and try it first. So I guess in the office in Japan, there's got to be some crazy cool AK displays, but eight years ago. Yeah, yes, we, we do have one of the very first AK displays uh, sitting around in our office, uh, well, well used by now. Um, so. And AK camera, the first one? AK camera, very first AK camera, 2013, cube camera, that's now evolved into a smaller body, which we can now do AK 120 hertz out of, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, Besides my camera? Besides your camera. Is it the size, same size? Um, it's compact. You have one in the box? <coughs> it's a cool catalog. So this size. This size camera. It's a uh, AB. It's a little bit bigger than my it's camera. A little bit larger. It's a, it's a it's definitely a video camera for sure. Production video camera. Um, I need I, to get one so I can do AK YouTube. <laughs> It'd be fantastic for that actually. <laughs> so what's the price? The price of this guy uh, right now is about one hundred twenty thousand dollars. So it's more than a house. Yes. It's uh, a. Yeah. So uh, to get the world's first technology is the world's first price. How many th hundreds of thousands of dollars for this uh, one? Oh, this, can you get a bundle discount? Um, signal generator itself, prices will range around starting from twenty, from $36,000 all the way up, depending upon how you customize the, the generator. And the protocol analyzer, we're starting at $50,000. So it's at least like a Tesla. It's definitely designed for companies to purchase, yes. For them, it's nothing. Yeah. It's it a no-brainer. Yeah, it should be a no-brainer for them to invest in something like that because the return that they receive is far greater than that, that initial cost. But uh, like you were showing this amazing video editing rig over there, are you expanding into a, getting more customers? Or do you have enough? You, because you have all the people that do this stuff. As, or do as you, any business exists, we would love more and more business and more and more customer base. Uh, the great thing about Astro Design is we're actually very, very selective with who we work with and how we process because uh, we are a small engineering team. So whatever interests us is what we go for.